Robin the Tacos here, and today we're going to be doing a quick video just to show you how to use Uranium Ore with uh, Gendistry. Now, Gendistry is uh, a mod that basically um, replaces the majority of extra bees. It's a much better, much more refined uh, system that allows you to mutate bees and manage them. Um, now, one of the big things is that uh, there's machines called uh, Mutatrons, which you can use to actually make um, mutations of bees virtually instantly and almost guaranteed as opposed to doing it the old-fashioned way. Um, and in order to use the Mutatrons, you need Mutagen, which is produced from this Mutagen producer, which uses a ton of power and various materials to... Uh, to actually produce the mutagen. Now, uh, what we're going to be doing today is learning how to use uh, uranium, which is produced from uranium ores, obviously. Uh, the reason for that is because um, every time you go to make mutagen, it costs 100,000 MJ. And if you're using a material, say, like redstone, you're only getting 100 millibuckets per, uh, per cycle. But it's still costing you 100,000 MJ, which means because you need a full bucket in order to uh, to do one mutation, which means you need not o you need 10 redstone and 1 million MJ to produce the mutagen needed to do one mutation. Whereas if you're using say uranium uh, 238, it's only 100,000 MJ, but you get enough mutagen to actually do two mutations from that single. Um, uranium block. So it's actually a lot more effective to do things that way. Now um, we use uh, atomic science in our mod pack which um, is used to produce this uh, uranium stuff and as such uranium is a little bit more uh, volatile so uh, the way I do things is completely hands free. I don't have to touch the uranium during the refining process but if for whatever reason you stop it halfway through or you pick up any of the uranium in between the process um, it's going to kill you. So uh, if you're going to do that, make sure you're wearing a hazmat suit. The recipes, of course, are uh, in NEI. Now, um, one other comment for those who are not using the EVCraft mod pack. Um, uranium, by default, is not available as a mutagen. You actually have to do a custom configuration to your mod pack. I've got the details listed in the comments, or in the... Uh, the description section of the video. Alright, so without further ado, the first thing you're going to need is a chemical extractor. Um, the recipes of course are in NEI, but you just pop that down. And then you need a nuclear boiler, and just put that right next to it. And then finally you need a centrifuge, and we're actually just going to do it this way. Uh, it didn't go the way I want. It doesn't really matter which way it faces. Come on. Uh, no, we're not. It's just me. All right. Well, it doesn't matter really which way it's facing. I'll uh, I'll fix that later. But um, the uh, chemical extractor and the nuclear boiler both require water, so you require some form of water source. I'm using a reservoir from the Ender.io mod, which again is in the EVCraft mod pack. So we'll just pop these down here. The centrifuge does not need water. Slowing into two. Now, one uh, word of warning the chemical extractor um, does a number of different things, but one of the things it does, if you use atomic science, is it produces a deuterium. And it does that automatically, just basically taking water and uh, dumping it in the air. Now, this will not screw up your ability to, to uh, do the uranium that we're going to do in this process, but during the time it's filling up your geranium or deuterium tank it's going to consistently be using energy so you may want to consider disabling this machine um, if you're really short on energy once it's done its initial um, stuff for the uranium so the next step is we need uh, item ducts to go between the uh, 
the chemical extractor and the nuclear boiler because they do not automatically transfer the components to each other. And you have to do something to actually pull the items out. It will automatically just uh, put put the items out into the the tube. So with that, we use a pneumatic servo to make the item just automatically take items out of the chemical extractor as uh, available. Um, the centrifuge, the nuclear boiler will automatically dump stuff into the centrifuge, so no change has to be done here. And then finally, we have to get stuff from the centrifuge to our mutagen producer. So I'm going to put these down. I'm not going to bother activating the tube yet because I want to show you the process, but I'll show you at the end uh, about fixing it up and then you can see the thing in action. So now all we need is a uranium block, which I wasn't smart enough to have at the beginning of this uh, video. And all you do is you just pop it into the chemical extractor. So now the uranium will produce yellow cake, which you saw for a split second there, which flows into the nuclear boiler. And now this takes a little bit of time, but it will create uranium hexafluoride, which is a liquid. So if um, if you don't want these machines running nonstop, you can actually convert all your uranium into the uh, uranium hexafluoride and store it in some sort of a liquid tank and then just have that going into the centrifuge while these machines are offline. You know, there's plenty of different combinations. So once uh, the uranium hexafluoride ha is getting produced, the centrifuge will start operating to uh, make your uranium blocks. It will make, uh, I don't know if it's random, but it will make various amounts of the uranium uh, 238 and 235. Um, simply because of the fact both are used in atomic science for different things. So it's a useful way of uh, producing multiple forms of uranium. Both of these uranium types can be used in the mutagen, so it's not, or the mutagen producer, so it's really not going to cause us any issues. It just takes a little bit of time uh, for this to happen. So I'm going to wait for it to finish its entire process, and then we'll be back. Hello everyone, so the uh, the centrifuge is done and we got a total of three uranium 235s and three uranium 238s. Um, again, you don't want to take this out of the centrifuge by hand unless you're wearing a hazmat suit or it will absolutely kill you. So that's why I have the piping going into the mutagen producer. We are now going to activate this and send the items to the producer. And there, they are. there they go. It does take a little bit of time for uh, the producer to do its thing, but you should see uh, the uranium or the uh, mutagen popping up fairly quickly. Um, I should also mention when you're doing the manual config, you can modify the amounts that these pieces of uranium give you. And I also believe, although I haven't tested myself, you can actually use that config to add any blocks you want to be able to produce mutagen. You just have to know their proper uh, or dictionary uh, names and things like that. Uh, you know, if you're semi-brilliant, you should be able to figure it out fairly easily just from uh, the two samples of the uranium. So this all is a little bit of a lengthy process, but if you were just dumping, you know, redstone in there, it'd actually take much longer to get anywhere close to this amount of mutagen. I mean, we're at 5,000 mutagen now, which would be uh, 50 redstone and 5 million MJ later. We've only used a fraction of that. And uh, unless you're building uh, reactors and atomic science, there really is not much use for uranium, uh, at least in our mod pack, for anything else. So now that the last uranium is nearly done, 
I believe we'll have a total of 9,000 mutagen from a single uranium ore block. Yep, there we go. 9,000 mutagen. That's enough to do nine mutations of any B combinations that you want. Um, and that really took very little time. So that's all there is to it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe. Let me know what else you want me to show you from our mod pack. And this is Love the Tacos, and take it easy.